Hey, welcome back to Wild Car Wednesday. I have a big announcement this Wednesday. This is gonna be the last Wild Car Wednesday that's structured like this right here. I've been talking with my wife and a few friends at work and some of my colleagues, if you will. And uh, we think that people are probably tired of seeing me draw pictures of cars that I wanna build in the future and they wanna see actually something done. So over the next few months, we're going to be dedicating our Wednesday videos to one of the wild cars that we've talked about and actually start building some of them. And as you know, the three cars that we have coming up in our giveaway were all three victims of Wild Car Wednesday anyway. So over the next few months, as we're going through and doing our builds, all of these cars are going to have progress done on them and they will have previously been Wild Car Wednesdays. Or we will work on one of the other vehicles that we talked about. So Wednesdays will be separate from our Sunday video and our eventually our Friday video in that we'll focus more in on one of the weird designs that I've had. So today's version is on this 1969 C50. C50 is or was a two and a half ton truck, which is a great big truck with a great big box. And I'm going to grab some pictures off the internet. You guys will be able to see that. Hopefully you'll see some pictures showing up here in a minute. We're not real good with the technology. But a C50 is a much larger truck than what you normally see this truck as here. Let me tell you a little bit about this truck. 1969 GMC C50. GMC and Chevy trucks, 99% the same. A little bit of chrome difference, sometimes headlight difference. But let me show you some of the differences on this truck. Because this truck was never in this format. And I actually think it's turning out pretty cool. We've already done 90% of this build. But we have something very exciting that we're going to do on this truck over the next month that I think you guys will enjoy. I think it's going to turn out really cool. So let me tell you about the truck, then I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll get some drawing done so I can give you an idea. We're going to change this up just a little bit. All right, this is a 1969 GMC C50. A C10 is a half ton truck. A C20 is a three quarter ton truck. A C30 is a one ton truck on up you get the idea so a c50 would have been a two and a half ton truck that was a great big box truck when we originally got it so this truck here the c50 has a shorter front area here than what a normal truck does so you'll see let me go over here to where i don't have my shadow in it so you can see how far back the wheel well is in comparison to where the door is See, it's so far back that the door actually had to be notched right here. And that's from the factory. It's got a short, stubby nose on it. And it's just cool looking. Uh, they didn't ever have these as two-wheel drive on the ground like this. They also never ever had these with a regular truck bed on them. So this bed here is off of a C20, which would have been the exact same bed as a C10. This right here we made into dually fenders now this right now it doesn't have the dually wheels on it you'll see one the outside wheel is missing that's because i had to get it on and off a trailer but i'll show you pictures of it when it had the dually wheels on and you'll i think you'll i think you'll be able to see it anyway you see here that this area was added so that the second wheel could be in there second tire could be in there and this was made out of a step side fender off from the same basic year truck 1967 to 1972 and we cut them down and welded a flange to them so that they would i think they fit it perfectly they would make it look like the right era the right way it is now you see right back there we have the vespa in there the odd rod garage the original car i still haven't taken it out from a long time ago we'll get it out this week because we're going to be messing with this truck i do have a tailgate for it but it wouldn't fit on with the car in the bed as you can see we also did the other fender and this fender used to have a cutout for a spare tire and we didn't like that so we just did some hand forming i used to have a guy work with me who didn't do the world's greatest job so tommy got in and did a little bit of cutting and welding on it and made it a lot better we'll be able to straighten that out for us <clears throat> this truck used to be out in the town of buckeye arizona this is their little emblem that's on there and that'll come off it was for official use only it was from the i think it was a uh buckeye school district truck is what i think it was anyway this is a 
funky cool truck those style of rims right there are called alcoas and i have aluminums for the front and the rear and they just give it that big truck look and i like it now we've dumped it way down on the ground in comparison to what it used to be and to do that we had to do some special things the very first thing we did was the chassis we put it on this is setting on a one and a half ton dually chassis 1994 c30 so the disc brakes on it are are great they're power disc brakes um, we have late model springs we have late model suspension components and that's just going to make it easier all the way around as far as replacing parts are concerned now right now it doesn't have a bumper on it and tommy keeps demanding that we do not put a bumper on it but i like bumpers and i am going to put the original front bumper back on and i have another front bumper that will go in the back and we'll have to cut it and change it up a little bit but it'll it'll finish up the back also nicely so it's sort of an ugly truck but it's sort of the big ugly in your face you know ugly is the new cute and i think that this would be a really cool ride to cruise around in it runs and drives great has a 350 v8 engine in it and a four-speed automatic i'll show you those here in just a second here in the interior you'll see the seat there is filthy dirty but the little diamond stitch in it that's big time 60s and 70s styling i just had to have it the seat's been set in about three times it's brand new i think it'll end up being really really cool so the big announcement on this truck is what we're actually going to do with the paint we're not going to do some fancy paint job but we are going to do an entire truck in a faux patina paint job so hopefully when you see this when it's all done it'll look like the patina has been there forever so we're going to go in we're going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do i'll draw a couple pictures and i'm going to try and demonstrate to you where the paint will be and how it will be faded out and i think it'll be really really cool so a lot of fotina paint jobs you can tell right off the bat that it's fake and hopefully the patina paint job we do on this you won't be able to tell it as, as quickly you'll probably still be able to tell but we're gonna give it a shot this will be the first one at full scale that i've ever done so hopefully you guys will enjoy it so we're going to do a seafoam green style color like this underneath on this we're going to do that down on the base of the of the cab up on the top surfaces we're going to sand this down all the way to the point where we have bare metal and then we're going to rust that and we're going to rust that with that combination of chemicals i talked about which we'll show you when we do it we're going to add some additional color in it so that as you burn through each stage of color it'll make it look like a gradual transition so that's the key in two or three different key aspects of a patina paint job one is you need to make sure that you have the paint layered. So you'll want to have, you'll obviously have your bare metal, you'll have your primer color, you'll have your base color. So those are gonna be the three that you'll deal with. And then, like I said in my previous video this past Sunday, uh, it's really important the grit sandpaper you use. So we will start with a 320 grit sandpaper so that it is pretty aggressive and we'll get finer from there. So maybe 600 or 800 grit sandpaper so that we can rub out and it doesn't leave the big gouges in there that, that make it real obvious what was going on so anyway so when it's all said and done I hope this truck is going to look like the picture I'm going to show you now this is a 58 or 59 Chevy truck and I really think it's cool I love the rust up on top I love the green we won't have that darker green but we're going to have some green on this truck because it was originally that color it was originally a seafoam green color so anyway I'm going to go inside we're going to draw up some stuff. I'm going to put a little color to it this time, just so you can sort of see what I'm talking about. And uh, maybe this will be a nice new change. We'll get some progress done on these projects. So I'm a little sad about disposing of Wildcard Wednesdays. I actually enjoy drawing and doing the silly little sketches that I do. But, you know, i got to get more done and less talking about it. So uh, I've been inspired to do that. We'll just put it that way. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to draw up a little picture of what we're going to do with the truck. And we're going to got some colored pencils here, which aren't the right color, but they'll give you the idea. And we'll I'll show you sort of what I'm trying to do. And so next Wednesday, you will see the first video on this truck as we go through and start prepping the body so that we can 
we can put some paint on it. Now I'm not doing full blown custom paint. You've heard me say forever that I can't stand doing paint, and that's still the case. But this is a patina paint job, a fotina as I call it. So a fotina paint job, I think it'll be fun to do. It'll be very artistic, and I, I sort of like to pretend like I'm artistic, so. Anyway, let me get a little drawing done. We are going to do a patina paint job on this truck. Now you need to remember coming around the 1st of June, we should have our merchandise store up. So hopefully that'll be going and we'll be able to start making progress on these giveaway trucks and let's see what we can get accomplished. So let's do some drawings.
All right, well, that looks like a terrible mess, but it's the wrong color green. The brown and the red are gonna have to make up for rust, and I, I think it'll look really, really cool. So you'll look at the 58 or 59 Chevy that I sent you the picture of. I'll try and put it in here again, and that's sort of what I'm going for. Make it look like it's been sitting out in the field forever. So 1969 C50, setting on a 1994 Chevy C30 Dually chassis with a 350 V8 engine and a 700R four-speed automatic transmission. This would be a fun little ride. So it does make me a little bit sad that uh, this is gonna be one of the last wildcard Wednesdays that we do. We'll still be doing Wednesday videos, but I enjoy the drawing. And Eli, I gotta tell you, I hope you keep on watching, even though I'm not gonna be doing much drawing. I'll do it occasionally, but not every week. Anyway, I appreciate the fact that you guys have taken time out of your day to come by and spend with us. And hopefully you can see what I'm talking about when I do this truck. And over the next three or four weeks, we're going to do this paint job on this truck to make it uh, my first full car Fotina paint job. Thanks for spending time with the Auto Garage. Thanks for watching.